Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane. This video is part of my underrated game series, and today we're going to be talking about a few games from the DS and the Game Boy Advance. So I try really hard not to preach at people with, oh, you should play this game, or you should not play this game, or things like that. I, I really do believe that people can make up their own mind. However, I do feel that some games get ignored, and that it's kind of undeserving. There are quite a few people that put their heart and soul into a particular game or something like that, and uh, maybe the advertisement was just real bad, or uh, they released alongside of some other big name that they just kind of got overshadowed by. And that's not fair. It's not fair to the people who made the game, and it's not fair to us as gamers that we got to miss out on something that was uh, that has a lot of passion behind. It. And these are this is going to be a series actually of me going through and just naming off some games that are in my personal collection that uh I just got lucky and I found them and I really enjoyed them and I I want I want to spread the joy I want to be able to let people take a second look at some of these titles and just decide on their own whether or not if it is worth their time to even look at but you know just just to bring it to light that hey these these games did have passion behind them and some of these i believe uh deserve at least second consideration so first up we're going to have luminous arc 1 and 2 on the nintendo ds released by atlas 2007 and atlas in 2008 Guys, these games are just, just, wow. Um, I cannot express how much I really do love these games. I was a big Chrono Trigger fan, and I was a really big Final Fantasy Tactics fan. In fact, Final Fantasy Tactics is the reason I bought a PlayStation. And Luminous Arc is like if those two series got together and had a baby. Uh, it is a tactical combat game with the double techs and all the wonderful things from Chrono Trigger. It has a really good storyline. Uh, beautiful packaging. Uh, these things come with, you know, I, th I think it was like Luminous Arc 2 that comes with a soundtrack and stuff and just like, they, they put a lot of heart and soul into these games. And uh, the multiplayer, being able to play... Not, not only is it Chrono Trigger plus Final Fantasy Tactics put together in one package, but it's multiplayer! And and you can play against your friends with this on a Nintendo DS. And it's, it's just great amounts of fun. Beautiful music. Wonderful art style. Uh, everything that you come to expect from Atlas. Uh, including the rare print run, and nobody knowing about the game. So, that is that is the first one up on this series. I, I had to do it. Uh, guys, just, just take a second look at the game. Um, they're going to be hard to find, but they're going to be worth it. Next up, we have a entry in 2005 by Majesco, on the, also on the Nintendo DS, Nanostrip. Uh, this is just the the basic building blocks of a good shooter. Uh, it's vertical. Uh, it has good music. It has wonderful enemies that come across the screen and just you know have a go at trying to take your life from you. Uh, wonderful, just just absolutely wonderful weapons and just. I love the game. And top it all off, this is about the quality that I would see from 
kind of a, a mid to low range budget on uh, the PlayStation, but it's on handheld. It's on the Nintendo DS, which I don't know about you guys, but I like having jo multiple genres of games on my consoles. And if I have a console that's the DS, I want to have an RPG, I want to have a fighting game, I want to have a shooter and or a shmup, and this fits it. It's not overly extravagant like Radiant Silver Gun, but it definitely fits the role. So going on with shmups, uh, we're going to go with one that's a little bit off the cuff. Uh, it's Iridian 3D for the Game Boy Advance, released 2001 by Majesco. Now, I know this doesn't fall in with the typical shmup, because it's 3D, it's from behind view, and, you know, it, it doesn't follow all of the rules, but it has wonderful weapons, it has enemies that fly at you, it has a pickup upgrade system, the only thing that that kind of makes it not a schmuck is the point of view. And even then, it's not that big of a deal. It's still a great game. Uh, to me, it's a lot like Galaxy Force 2, uh, where you have that behind the, behind the, the, uh, the ship view. And they did a really good job. It was wonderful music. And it's one of those games that... Not a lot of people paid attention to and I think it deserves a little bit more than that. Uh, next up, 2001 by Kimco, again on the GBA, gonna be Phalanx. Uh, this is basically a straight port from the Super Nintendo and those of you who know me know that I'm a Phalanx fan. I don't know what it was about that original cover art on the Super Nintendo, but it just made me take a risk on it. One day I just saw it and I looked at it and I thought, that is somehow stupidly hilarious. And I think I picked it up for 20 bucks at KB Toys. And uh, you know, the, the Super Nintendo version. And then I just, I fell in love with it. I became a fan picked up the GBA version because I wanted to continue to support this game. And guys, just, just get out there, play a version of Phalanx. It's fun, the the weapon system is very innovative, with especially taking your super shot and expending one of your weapons. That is a very tactical and calculated risk in this game, where you sacrifice something you get something and that's that's kind of rare for a schmuck to do is to make you sacrifice something. again great game last up on this on this uh list for this video going to be super dodgeball advance on the gay boy advance 2001 by atlas uh this is a technical refresh remake of uh the Super Dodgeball on on a Nintendo. Now, it's got some weird little quirks and stuff. Uh, like the visuals aren't exactly what they should be. Um, they're they're not the exact characters that they should be. But everything of the spirit of the game is there. And let me tell you guys, the link cable experience when you play when you do player versus player is hilarious. And it is over the top dodgeball. Like comedy style, anime style, over the top dodgeball. Um, I wouldn't say like Dragon Ball Z levels, but you, know, you, you can do some pretty crazy power-ups in this game. And Catching the ball and just the the whole competitiveness of the game is, in single player is great, but where it really does shine in, is multi. And guys, take another look. 
I know that it's a real heavy investment to make it two-player if, if you're going for original hardware and stuff like that. But there are emulators out there that will allow you to do two-player online. And it's a great game, and I absolutely love it. And actually, all of these games are worth your time. They're worth going back and just taking another look at it. Go on YouTube. Don't take my word for it. Go on YouTube. Look at other people's videos of these games. Look at long plays. It's, it really is something just to go back, take a look, and just ask yourself, did you miss out on this game? Guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you, if you guys have any suggestions for, for games that I might be able to feature in some of my future videos on stuff like this, please leave them in the comments below. Um, you know, and, and that's basically it, guys. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and look forward to sharing them. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.